Good day guys, Tim here from Grad Tests, and I'm going to take you through another quick fire inductive reasoning question example. So let's get straight into it. What have we got here? We have got a square, and inside that has a triangle, and within that is another shape. So let's look at the outer shape first. What's this square doing? So we're going from the top right, the bottom right, to the bottom left, to the top left. Okay, so clearly in the next square, we're going to have to be in the top right position. So A, B, and D are all possible answers. And we can rule out C immediately. We're eliminating C as a potential option. Okay, now let's look at the color of the square. It's going from white to black to gray to white again. So in the next square, clearly it's going to have to be back to black. So that only leaves B and C. We can now rule out A. So we've eliminated A and C. And so at this point, if we were to guess, we've got a one in two chance of getting it right. If we'd guess straight away, we'd have a one in four chance. So it's really good to at least eliminate some of your options, even if you're a little bit stuck. Uh, we can see in the next shape, so it's a triangle facing downwards, and that's the same in all the squares, so that's not changing at all. And in both the potential answers, they also have a triangle facing downwards. That doesn't help us. So it must come down to this interior shape. So in the first square here, we've got a star colored black, then a white circle, a black star, a white circle. So we're alternating between those two patterns. So in the correct answer, we're going to have to have a black star. So D has that and B does not. So D must be the correct answer here. Tick that, move on. Okay, that is the end of this example. Uh, if you want to see more examples, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll be posting more videos of these quick examples, helping you through inductive reasoning tests, numerical reasoning tests, and verbal reasoning tests. Thanks, guys.